Hi friends, happy Wednesday. Um, a short video today, because uh, I have a short break now between some meetings. I think my new strategy is to walk by my bookshelf and then I see a book and then I talk about it. But um, I, I, did, I did actually do that. So I did see this book. Uh, it's called Secrets of the Millionaire Mind, T. Harv Ecker. Um, and I thought I would just talk about it briefly. And it's kind of top of mind because I was talking to a friend yesterday who is a coach and she just started working um, with kind of money mindset. And we were talking about, um, yeah, just dynamics of money and the role it plays in our lives. So this book I read um, also, I think like 2008, I think I read it. And it was interesting because I went to business school and I studied finance and money uh, for four years. And I kind of thought I understood money, so to speak. Uh, and then I read this book, which I, which I do recommend. Um, again, it was a long time ago since I read it for the first time. But for me, it was an introduction to um, kind of the psychology of money and how, how we relate to it based on our experiences, worldview, uh, our money blueprint like he talks about it in this book. And uh, one of the concepts that he does talk about is, right, so it's called like your money blueprint. And now I forget if it's T. Harp Ecker or if it's someone else, but basically it's something you can compare to being like a thermostat. So if you're kind of uh, used to a certain um, way to earn, or you, you know, we, we tend to be like, um, how do I dive into this? It's like you kind of have a setting um, and then you tend to return to that. So I don't know if that makes sense, but it, it makes a lot of sense for my life. Um, I've had certain like thermostatic uh, points where I'm like, oh, this is, this is me. And I could sort of calibrate around it. And in order to earn more or like have more money flowing in and out, it's, it's sort of an approach of, yeah, just like getting a, working on all these things that he kind of identifies in the book. So being a good receiver, being a good giver. Um, let's see, thinking big, like, okay, there's a lot in here. So I'm not going to jump into it right now. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to mention this book. Um, I think the topic of money is so interesting because it's it's something that we don't really talk about. It's kind of taboo in a way to say what you earn. And it's kind of like, shh. And also it's, it's such a big deal of our lives. Like money makes us, you know, money pays our bills. Money puts food in our mouth. It's, it's so important. And it's something I think a lot about. It's pretty crazy that we don't talk about this more. I actually had a friend uh, a year ago or two who did invite a group of uh, women who were like 15 people and brought someone in from, from um, an association to talk about money and investments. And she kind of invited us to talk about like, you know, salaries, investments, failures, uh, interests. And it was like mind blowing. Everyone sat there like, why haven't we talked about these things before? Why, why don't we like open up about this? So that's something that I think is very interesting. Um, because if you look at personal growth and professional growth, um, I think the money aspect is a part of it, whatever you think of it, right? So interesting topic. Um, I recommend this book, Secrets of the Millionaire Mind. Thanks for checking in. Bye.